Hello guys, uh, on this cold wintry day we are going to do another upgrade to the car. Uh, one that is long long needed and with the track day I could really feel that I needed to upgrade. And the new upgrade is not going to be a wash like she really really needs. But we are going to install some EBC brake pads and discs on the car. So it's going to be lovely because now we finally have better brakes for the car. And yeah, <clears throat> it's going to be a major difference. I'm not going to install them myself. I just don't bother doing it in the winter period. So I'm going to the garage and get them installed. And uh, while I'll let my neighbors enjoy the start of the car. I have something new for the channel, let me turn on the flash, I got myself a DJI Mavic and if you guys know what it is, it's basically a drone. So we got ourselves a drone for the channel and it's going to be a lot, lot nicer because that drone has very good video quality, um, uh, but yeah, it, it will make very, very nice shots and I'm going to try to use it uh, during drag races. So. You know, instead of always the, the current shots that I have, and they're not always as good as, you know, as they are, because sometimes my drag races are pretty okay, and sometimes they are pretty mediocre. Um, but let us say that, you know, my uh, <coughs> drag race videos have a lot, a lot of room for improvement, and I think, you know, that drone will really, really, really give the car, uh, the, the channel, like a good boost of video quality. And you know, we can also film other stuff, like when we go to meetings and stuff like that. And you know, when we visit places, also, you know, other stuff. Not car channel based, but just, you know, when I go on a trip, it, it's going to be, it, it's a it's a cool extra f thing to have. So yeah, here we can see the new uh, brake discs and EBC pads, and they look very very nice. They will not stay black; they will just get the same color as this. But you know, this is still my old stock brake setup, and as you can see, you know, it's not that spectacular. But this has a nice black paint over it, which will go off after braking. But yeah, it looks way, way nicer. Okay, so one day later now, because uh, afterwards I just had a quick drive home and that's it. Um, but now we are braking in the, the brake. So what we're actually doing is um, I accelerate to about 100 kilometers an hour a few times, like about 10 times and I brake until 15-20 kilometers an hour and I do that a couple of times like now and that's to brake in the rear uh, the, the, the pads and you know, uh, discs uh, because to give them the optimal performance that they have to offer so uh, I, you always have to do it with new discs and pads uh, and once they are, you know, burned in, they are better. Um, you first had to drive like a little bit, um, but now it's now they are optimal. So actually, this was the last time I had to do it. Uh, so now I'm letting them cool down. I'm, I'm driving around. I actually have to be somewhere, so that's you know handy that I can just drive to that place. Uh, but yeah. Um, I'm rounding in, but now it's wet on the road, so I don't have the optimal brake performance. But I can feel that my brakes are more consistent and they feel better. It's not like you know a major difference, like you install a big brake kit or something, but you feel a consistent, you know, difference in your car. Um, and the the thing is, this the car will be able to the car will be able to uh, that was uh, the truck was parked very very closely whatever uh, but you will be able to you know uh, brake longer and harder as before it's not that your stopping power has increased like immensely but the, you know, 
know the endurance of the brakes has improved like quite a lot um, so yeah now I'm actually driving gonna drive to uh, some guy because I have a little problem uh, but the car still says you know traction control is normal because I'm in Sport Plus but the car says that you know the handbrake is actually on but that's not true but that's a warning that my brake pads are worn and it's even telling me here in the iDrive uh, system so that's pretty annoying because I actually installed new sensors tried to do a reset but it just tells me that it's not possible to do a reset so now I'm going to a friend who, have car who has Carly um, and he actually can he had the same problem and he was able to reset it with Carly so I'm going to try to do the same thing and hopefully that you know uh, will help and otherwise we will need to get an original um, brake sensor try it again and if that doesn't work I have to take the car to BMW but you know that really doesn't matter I mean the car you know brakes fine uh, everything is like it should um, so you know this is just you know a little bit annoying because it always gives the warning like Poo, your brakes are toast and then I'm like Poo, they're not because you just brand new pads and discs so stop whining uh, but yeah um, but I have to say the car feels very nice but it's it's like five degrees outside and it's cold so I don't have like I said optimal traction but the gas you know the brake response it feels better so it's a good improvement if you don't want to upgrade to bigger discs uh, you know to bigger claws because then it gets really expensive and you know this was maintenance anyway because the car needed new disc and, discs and pads as I was like okay, you know let's just get a better system overall but the problem is in Belgium very logically in Belgium like everything is not allowed you're not allowed to install bigger brake calipers than original which is just ridiculous um, but I don't want to take the risk so that's why I'm for now going just with bigger pads and discs and if uh, they don't suit me enough then I'm just gonna wear these down and then I may be going to install bigger discs and pads but for now I mean I'm pretty happy and I think they look look they look pretty nice so yeah, as you can see, you know, we have our vented discs and a little bit of yellow in the brake pads, but now the black is all completely gone and the pads are braked in very, very nicely. It looks all very, very clean. So I'm a happy guy. Looks very, very nice. Okay, so we got the warning removed. The only warning we now have is that we're low on fuel, but that's just standard for a BMW. And as you can see, vehicle status new brake pads are perfect so yeah 36,000 kilometers I am very very happy with that so we can finally drive like a maniac again so yeah uh, we finally got it the car finally is in good condition again no warning lights everything is fine brakes are maintenance and they're better as original so yeah I'm a happy person that everything everything got sorted out very very quickly and now the car is running perfect you know maintenance everything is on point and it's always nice when your car drives like it should and you know I'm just a happy man uh, only you know it's dark again because you know it's a winter period can you believe that you know 30 minutes ago it was still bright and now it's 5 p.m. and it's already dark. I, I just hate the winter. It's terrible to vlog, to do stuff. You can get nothing done when you need daylight. So yeah, it is what it is. But we finally you know have a big uh, breakup kit for the car. We also got a drone, which I already tested uh, today. Uh, it is amazing. Can it can fly 500 meters high, and it, it, it's an amazing drone. Uh, but we're gonna have, have some epic footage of the car very very soon um, but I'm first gonna clean the car because she's pretty dirty yeah I was hooting a little bit like a maniac <laughs> but anyway guys uh, that was it for today's video thanks for watching and I'll see you guys soon bye